Good morning. Today we're going to work on uh, what we call Cinewally boxing. So in order to break that down to you, Cinewally is uh, the use of two sticks. It's patterns that we use um, to help develop our empty hand flow and our stick flow. So the feed we're going to use this morning, we're going to keep it kind of close. A uh, cob cob drill is normally a high event, a middle event, and a low event. All right, what we're going to do is we're just going to focus on the high today, and we're just going to work on the right side. <clears throat> so with that being said, you work your right side, figure that out, then you can work your left side, figure that out, then you can start going to the low uh, sessions. All right, and you can uh, experiment with the middle, you know, a little bit of creativity, a little bit of open-mindedness on your part is always required for training. But work we're going to do with this is just a short diamond step. All right, we're going to do the short diamond step and move. For simplicity, because uh, a lot of people that I work with are karate people, or workout tempo people, tempo whatever, they're uh, familiar with the term outside block and inside block. So I'm going to use those uh, names to describe the motions. All right. So the very first motion I do is I would step out to the same side block. Now with that, I can do the other hand hitting. As well, I could hit with the outside block and the same hand hits. All right. With the cross body, I could do the cross body. Other hand hits. I could do the cross body. Same hand hits. Okay. Now we start to put them together. I would do a outside block and a inside block and a same side hit. I could do a outside block, a inside block, and the other hand hits. Same way I could do the cross body or the inside block. The same side or outside block hits and I do the hit. I could do the cross body, same side, other hand hit. So that's the way it works. So I can come off, bang, bang, other hand hits, bang, 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 bang. All right, so we'll go through them again real quick. So uh, outside, other hand hits. Outside, same hand hits. Inside, same hand hits. Inside, other hand hits, okay? Outside block, inside block, hit. Outside block, inside block, hit, okay? Inside block, outside block, hit. Inside block, outside block, hit. Now regardless of the order I put them in, I didn't do it exactly the same every time, it doesn't matter. You need to understand that I block and I hit. I can block and I can hit. I can block, hit, I can block, hit. I can block, block, hit. I can block, block, hit. Block, block, hit. Now I come back in this direction, I block, block, hit. Block, block, hit. All right, so understand that motion. So that's what the stick. Now we're gonna to the empty hand. Division of Haymaker coming to our right. So I'm gonna zone out, block, and I'm gonna hit. I could also zone out, block, and hit. All right, now if I'm coming with the inside block, I could block, and hit. I could block and hit, okay? Now I come with the outside inside, hit. Outside inside, hit, okay? Inside, outside, hit. Inside, outside, hit. All right, it's a very simple motion. So all I'm learning is I come out, bang, I can hit you. Bang, I can hit you, it all depends on what we need. I can move my cross body, bang, I can hit you. Bang, I can hit you, okay? Start to do a double parry, what we call a brush stroke. Bang, bang, I can hit you, I can make this a destruction. Bang, bang the destruction in. Bang, bang the destruction in. Follow with the shot. Block, bang the destruction in. Follow with the shot, right? Same thing comes on this side. I could do what we uh, commonly call a brush stroke. Double parry, hit. Or I could double parry, hit. It doesn't really matter. The biggest thing is I've got some ideas, usually when I uh, do the second motion, I like to think of it as destruction. If I'm blocking, I don't really want to just do another block for the sake of blocking. I'm going to block that, I'm going to drive that into the shoulder joint, into the bicep, something like that to create some pain. And also, uh, remember destructions aren't endings to the game. All right, what we term a destruction a lot of times is more of a distraction, we could call it. If I drive this shot into your shoulder joint, you may still be able to fight, but you're going to be thinking about it. But also what I'm doing is that arm drives in, I'm opening up the shot. 
as that block and that strike catch my shoulder or my bicep area, it's throwing my arm open and opening that uh, line of attack. All right, so block, hit, block, hit, block, hit, block, hit, block, block, hit, block, block, hit, block, block, hit, block, block, hit. All right, start to put those together. And once you've done the first initial hit, you can start adding strikes, start adding combinations, you know. If I'm coming out in this direction, this is starting to look a whole lot like a cross now. So I can follow with the second shot, okay? As I'm starting to come out here and do this guy, I can follow that, follow that. I can start to add to it. I can get into where I'm doing single wall emotions. I get a lot of flow. That's what you want to kind of work on. Get yourself the ability to do multiple strikes, right? I'm coming in, I'm blocking, I'm damaging. I'm throwing multiple strikes. Okay, that's the kind of thing you want to start working on. You want to develop your flow through the center wall of boxing. In the same way that the double sticks helps us create flow with our stick motions, understand a little better our left hand and our right hand, getting them somehow brother and sister. It's the same thing you develop when you start to do those motions with your empty hands. So have a good day, work hard, see you next time.